now with the drawing, I'm gonna create new drawing from design. And this time we always use ISO, but for this time and moving forward, I think we're gonna just use ASME and we're gonna be selecting the sheet size A. So make sure we select ASME sheet size A and we're gonna be selecting the contents of the full assembly. So when I press okay, and we're gonna get our new drawing. Now we'll be in the a ASME standard. Okay, so now that we're in the drawing, right, we're gonna select our base view. So in this case, we're gonna be making an assembly drawing, and then we're gonna be making our working drawings or our part drawings. So for the assembly drawing, what I wanna do is before I place that, I wanna place the, you know, this is as always a northeast isometric. I'm gonna place it here. I'm gonna do the scale of one to one. All right, I'm gonna place it here and just press OK. Good. And now I'm gonna bring in another view. So I'm gonna go to perspective view. And because I want another perspective uh, view. So in this case, I'm gonna go to also Northeast isometric. But this time, instead of having this one, I'm gonna over here to model. And you can see I have storyboard one or two. In this case, I'm just gonna select one. All right, so I guess that's another one. So let's select two. Yours might be different, right? I think you only have one. I think for this one, I think I made two. Uh, so that's fine. But yours, you should only have one if you made it correctly. So you can see this is the exploded view. It's still one to one. So yes, that's the one that I want. And I'm just gonna drop it in here, uh, you know, and press okay. So of course we can reduce some of the, the things, right? Maybe. Uh, because of the size, we can reduce this, or you know, it depends on you on yours. Yours might be closer and you know have more some space. You can keep it back to the one to two scale if you want. In this case, back to shaded. And let's see, at least for this one, yours keep it at as a uh one to one. I mean, I think it's okay for now for mine. You know, this drawing, the ones that I made, it's in the ISO. I'm doing this one in ASME just because later on it will help us out. Um, but for now, you know, this is this is fine. So uh, once again, mine is it's a little bit covering over here. Yours shouldn't if you made them yours a little bit closer. So, you know, you're, so your your image, you know, might be just smaller. It just depends how how open you did the Explorer view. But anyway, um, that is essentially what we are doing. So this is how our block is looking, right, for the ASME. It looks different compared to the ones that we have had before. Of course, some things that we can uh, change here. So what we are going to be doing, you can see we can put the weight, but will that app for the later parts? So on drawing number, I'm gonna call this, uh, just like in the other drawing, BU-ME407, just for this one, for example, right? And size A on the type, second title, I always write what week four, so we're working on week four, block assembly, yes. Project, you know, graphics, so that's the name for the class, that's the name of the player, right? So those, the, those things already came in if you were saved. Of course, you can change those, you know, if um, yours you know, are different. So check by, approved by, drawn, you know, everything's the same, everything's pretty good. Uh, on some of them, we have document type and so on, but at least for now, this should be good. So uh, what for assembly and Another thing that we need to add for this one, it will be the part list. So I'm gonna go over here and where's this tables, create part list. And I'm I wanna select the exploded view, All right? And it's gonna make this list. I'm just gonna press over here in the corner and look, it automatically, you know, labels your parts, you know, if you have that number one is the, you know, the block bottom, number two, it's uh, this block and three and so on. So I'm gonna over here and double click and add the description. And you can see the description is there. Uh, I guess the numbers were not updated, but you know, for now this is here. So this is how it looks. I think we can of course bring this bubble down just so it's not interfering. Right, and this is essentially how your drawings will start to look. So we have more information. So once again, the description that we wrote, the material, 
the part number. So I'm gonna go quickly back to the to the other part and edit that. So let's just let's just double check, right? The post, let's see the properties, why it didn't uh, update it. So maybe it didn't say. In this case, it should be in part. Yeah, so I didn't say so AM dash three one one dash three, for example. All right, and and to just close. We'll do the same thing for the other ones. And once I go over here back to the drawing, um, or once I essentially gotta save it first, but I guess I'll I gotta do all the other ones at the same time. So let me just write this one real quick and, I, and I'll skip to when all of them are already saved. But you should already start looking, you know, better at this point. Okay, so I already changed those. So you can see we have once again that little um, reference that the version got updated. So when I click on it, and there we go. The part numbers are updated now to what they should be. So this is essentially how yours should look like more or less. The ones that I have, you know, varied. You can, of course, change the dimension of this table, make it a little bit bigger if you need to, right? There we go. So we change and that's how yours should look like. Um, you can, of course, do the proof check by change some of those things. Um, um, of course, you could do it in ISO, but I recommend ASME essentially for the next part that we are going to start doing. Um, there's something more information here, depends on SolidWorks, but for now, this is what's going to look like. So hopefully yours looks better. So that's it for this part. Uh, on the next part, we're going to be doing now the other part. So this is going to be a drawing with multiple sections. So I'm going to go here at the bottom, which is quick add. And on this part, we're going to be now making a drawing for the individual part. So this was, was an assembly drawing, and now this will be a working drawing. So I'm going to show you that in the next video.